Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Crystal and I'm the Plastic Free Vegan. This is part four of my zero waste travel vlog and it is the food that I'll be taking with me on the plane so that I don't have to create any waste. So obviously there'll be about two meals I think, a breakfast and a lunch slash dinner. It will be about a 14 hour flight from Brisbane Airport to LAX and I had to think of things that I will be eating that will be obviously plant based. I can eat cold and obviously it will give me have to be lots of protein rich foods, um, carbs to give me lots of energy and that way I won't feel like I need to binge eat on my snacks and stuff like that. So I have chosen two meals and then some snacky foods just to keep me going and I'm going to show you them in a second but I just thought I'd give a little bit of a lowdown so the reason why I'm taking food with me is because air flights do create a lot of waste in terms of food they just end up throwing it away also the foods aren't always great they're packed full of sodium and they're mostly processed because obviously they're microwaved meals and so I just want to actually have something that's really yummy that I have made myself I know my tastes that way I won't get disappointed and yeah let's get to it <laughs> The first meal is my sweet potato salad with mango dressing. I chopped up a full sweet potato, but you probably only need a quarter for this salad. I ate it that night, the rest of the sweet potato. Now I'm putting on some olive oil, a sprinkling of salt, and a sprinkle of rosemary. and some garlic flakes. Now you also want to um, preheat your oven to probably about 180 degrees Celsius. I have a crappy oven so I keep it on that at all times. Now you want to cut your mango. I'm only using half the mango cheek. Oh sorry, one mango cheek. And this is my trick to just scoop out the mango. I use a wine glass, chop it up. And then put it in your mason jar. Now I just like to mix it all up for the dressing. Make sure it's all nice and pureed. Now I'm adding some lime juice, mix it up a bit more and then you want to add just a little bit of balsamic vinegar to give it that vinaigrette taste. Now you want to add your black beans into a bowl, a squeeze of lime. and then your seasonings. We want to use salt, pepper and cumin. And with the cumin you only want a pinch as well. Now you want to mash all your beans up. I just use a fork. And then pop it at, as your first layer. Now I cut up some capsicum, I only use the bottom half. You probably could use less because <laughs> I actually put way too much in this bowl. 
so you definitely could use less. Then I'm chopping up a cucumber. Once again, you can use less. Less is more, I should say, because it, I jam-packed this little, this little guy, but he was really filling on the plane, which was really good. Grate some carrot. Now this is the sweet potato, I also added in avocado and then you want to put the spinach in and then put it on top, the lid on top I should say. And voila! So meal two is the chickpea scramble. You want to cut half an onion. Peel the onion first, obviously. And dice it up. And you want to put a little bit of oil in the pan, put your brown onion in and let it sizzle with some garlic. Probably put two in, that's at the equivalent to about two cloves. Put your chickpeas in, I used one can but you could definitely use half a can. Once again, I put way too much in my bowls, not in my jars. Then you want to mash and make it like it would be a scramble. So then you want to put a bit of um, nutritional yeast. I just used a teaspoon, a teaspoon of basil a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of salt. Now I did put too much salt in so I probably do a pinch of salt next time and just put some water in and just keep using the water to soak up all the um, spices because you want them to start cooking into the meal. So always add in a little bit of a time, just so that it doesn't burn the pot. And while that is simmering, cut up some parsley. Now I've got this from my garden. And some spinach leaves and I just chop them up. And I just put them in a bowl and poured some lemon juice over the top just so that it keeps it kind of fresh while you're on the plane. Obviously because this is my second meal it will be in um, for a while. So then yeah you want to cool down your um, chickpeas before putting in your spinach and parsley so that it doesn't make it go soggy. And then you put the lid on top. 
and they are the two meals that I have taking with me that I took on the plane with me and I just wrapped them up in a tea towel with some nuts and then I just put it in my backpack and I took two bananas oh sorry three bananas and an apple voila all done so they were my meals and I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with my um, travel vlog throughout America, um, three and a half, three and a half weeks in California and seeing what I see through my eyes, please subscribe and you'll get to keep up to date with it. Sweet. See you all soon. Bye.